Dr. John Saracostas. Uh, John, can you tell us more about what Michelle Bachelet had to say? Yes, uh, the High Commissioner put out a very detailed statement, but also very cautious because uh, the amnesty report uh, is very detailed in terms of uh, analysis of the photos and other audiovisual material, but they are not on the ground and they were cautious in their language as well. But if the uh, amnesty report turns out to be correct as uh, amnesty assumes, then the situation, according to Ms. Bachelet, would be that the civilians having been killed, it would amount to a to war crime, and that would require an investigation by the authorities. It's, it's a serious allegation, but until they have the evidence, the Office of the High Commissioner is cautious in its language. Are you able to also give us more information, John, about what is happening on the ground in terms of the humanitarian situation? Yes, Annette. The, the situation is uh, of, uh, of grave concern for the humanitarian relief agencies of the UN family. Uh, because of the conflict in the Tigray region, uh, the UN is unable to reach two million people that need humanitarian aid in, in the region. That includes half a million people that are food insecure, 100,000 internally displaced people, and over 100,000 refugees from neighboring Eritrea that live there. At the same time, the UN uh, uh, Agency for Refugees, UNHCR, is concerned at the flow of people fleeing the hostilities at the moment. 15,000 have already crossed into neighboring Sudan and more are crossing at a rate of about 4,000 per day. But the big concern for the UN, if this conflict is uh, gets out of control and escalates, then up to 9 million people could be affected. John Saracostas reporting there from Geneva. Thank you.